Various improvements to Kirksville City Parks on the way next year. Those were discussed at today's meeting of the Kirksville Lakes Parks and Recreation Commission. KTVS Kayla McGee spoke one on one with Parks and Recreation Director Robin Harden to see what's in the works for 2025. Kirksville Parks will have some new accessories and facilities coming in 2025. The city is working on bringing sidewalks to North Park and Rotary Park. The project at North Park will be a mile long looping trail to give residents a new place to walk. Meanwhile, Rotary Park's new sidewalks will connect it to the Aquatic Center. Community members need to be able to access our facilities, and right now the way the Aquatic Center sits, there's not a lot of pedestrian access. So it's exciting to be able to give folks that option to come visit us, whether it be on foot or on bike, and to be safe while doing so. The city also received grants to replace furniture at all parks across Kirksville. It's made from 100% recycled material. There be tables or benches or trash cans. Uh, those funds most of the time have just been completely free to us. So we've been able to replace these equipment at, at no charge. And so all of our facilities should have brand new equipment and tables in them. And it's, it's exciting to be able to do that without spending city funds to do so. Also discussed at the meeting was the beginning of the research and planning process for a new community center in Kirksville. When the city is making the five-year plan, residents highlight needs in the community, and many of those needs could be addressed with the new facility. Well, when we did our master plan, we received a lot of feedback from citizens about what they thought was missing in their recreational life, and three of the five needs most identified could be addressed with an indoor recreation center. So I think it really highlights that this is something that the community is asking for. Right now, city workers are also in the process of bringing splash pads to Brashear and PC Mills Parks. The Parks and Rec Department is currently taking bids and is hoping to have construction start after January 1st. Kayla McGee, KTVO News.